Hello and welcome to the Maxon Video Quick Tips. Cinema 4D Release 13 comes with an all new and awesome subsurface scattering shader. But how do you activate it? It's very simple. If you've got your skin material for example, you can go to the luminance channel, activate it, click on this small arrow, go to effects and then simply click on subsurface scattering. If you then click on the shader options, you will see that you have presets here, like for example apple, chicken, cream, ketchup, marble and so on. And you've got the path length, which is the most important parameter inside of the subsurface scattering shader. Let's have a look at the scene without subsurface scattering. You can see no subsurface scattering is taking place. So let's add the material where the subsurface scattering is already activated and render again. The subsurface scattering is working, but it's looking unnatural. And that's because we have a path length of 2 cm, which makes it look like candle. The path length is very important. And it's always depending on the size of your object. So 2 cm means that the light can go into the object 2 cm deep, which is obviously too much for this ear. So let's change the parameter here to 0.1 and render again. As you can see here, the effect is very subtle, but this is what you need to have a realistic skin rendering. Thanks for watching. For more information on Cinema 4D or other Maxon products, please visit cineversity.com or maxon.net.